I want to take a moment to send our thoughts and prayers to everyone affected by Hurricane Ian. I used to live in Florida, and I know there are so many people who need help right now. I've asked the amazing chef Jose Andres of World Central Kitchen to join me and to talk about the impact of the hurricane and how we all can help. Hi, Chef. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Jennifer. Thank you very much for having me. I'm right now here in Washington, D.C. Um, how do you know when to even get started with such short notice? We always try to go ahead of the hurricane. So we have more than 30 members of World Central Kitchen in Florida that arrived over five days moving, trying to understand where the hurricane will hit. So we can be near the people, for the people, with kitchens with one very simple mission. Let's try to be next to every American or any person around the world in a very difficult time with food and water because food is a message of love. Yes. Food is empathy. And when we are there in this difficult time, we say, all America is next to you. We are not gonna let you walk alone in this difficult time. I always say, Big problems have very simple solutions. In our case, one plate of food at a time, we show that people, they deserve our respect. They don't want our pity. They don't want our pity. They only want our respect. This is the best way to be giving dignity to people. You've experienced all kinds of natural disasters. What do you expect to see once you get there? So what I'm expecting once I fly tomorrow to Florida, you know, it's going to be disasters. I'm, 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 we are all seeing the news as we speak. We all seen what damage of a hurricane category five, four, almost five can do to, in this case, Florida. We've seen it before. We remember what happened in Katrina. It's very difficult to escape the realities of the power of a hurricane. We cannot control the hurricane. Even we cannot do more on climate change. But what yes we can do, it's something so simple as to say, those people that they've been affected, today we're going to do one meal. And as soon as we can, two. And we're going to double. And we're going to do 100 and 200. And before you know, you're doing thousands, tens of thousands of hundreds of thousands. What I'm telling you here is that we do food and water, but we do more than that. In the process of cooking, we go up in the communities and we make sure that we find every elderly, every family, every woman, every children that may be in need because sometimes they feel alone and sometimes they feel voiceless and forgotten. Sometimes a plate of food sends a message, you are not alone, you are not forgotten. And until you get better, we're going to be next to you every day. That's what I'm going to find. In the worst moments of humanity, the best of humanity shows up. 84 Lumber is a building material supplier with 250 stores in 30 states. They have stores throughout Florida and they are so eager to help. That's why 84 Lumber is donating $25,000 to World Central Kitchen. <laughs> and $25,000 to American Red Cross. You have taught us to want to help. So here we go, and go to the website so you can learn how you can help as well. Thank you, Chef Jose. Keep that beautiful heart and keep blessing the world. Thank you, and please come back. We'll be right back.